Oh no! Must be a thousand of them pouring out of there. All right, here we are back at the Bee Castle Bee Yard. The goal today is to check on Space Force and Coasty to see if they were uh, doing okay. But I thought before we uh, dove into the video and started uh, inspecting these hives, we would take a walk around and just make sure we see activity on every single one of these hives. Now I did come out here and put some Amdro out here uh, last week to get rid of the fire ants, but it looks like uh, they ate it and kept living. So that is, uh, that is going to be challenging. I didn't bring it with me today. Anyways, so let's, uh, there's number three. It's got bees. Number four, well, it's got bees. Number five is still alive. That is a good thing. Let's have a gander right here. Yes, we have bees. So these hives all look like they're in great shape. Like I said, we are uh, all queen right in this yard. And uh, these hives are all pretty doggone strong. And well, that was the last time I was in the hives, which was about three weeks ago, I guess. So we might, uh, we might look at more than just uh, Space Force and Coast Guard today. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But right now, I just want to make sure again that all these hives are alive. Now, there, there was some traffic there. Okay, we might have to look at uh, lucky number 13 because I don't see a lot going on there. Yeah, that's pretty sketch. Doesn't smell, so it doesn't smell like the hive has died out, but... Uh, yeah, there's, there's a girl coming out. Okay, well, there's one. Maybe it's, I hope it's not a robber. All right, number 14, good shape. Number 15, good shape. Now, again, all of these hives have been fed six gallons of syrup, so they should all just be rocking and rolling unless they've got a uh, wax moth or a hive beetle infestation. They should all be in good shape. So there you go. Number 19 is killing it. And number 20, here we go. This is the Coast Guard hive. And Space Force is the uh, other one with the white top back there. Anyways, let me get my uh, my smoker lit. We'll get into, uh, which one do we want to get into first? I guess we're going to get into Space Force first. Then we'll come up here. And then I think we're going to check lucky number 13 over there. Now the goal today is just do a quick inspection. I want to make sure that everything is right with the world inside this hive and the Coast Guard hive. And if by the time we get to the Coast Guard hive, we find the queen, because if you remember, we didn't find the queen last week. If we find her, we are going to paint her once we get there. Here we go. Hello, ladies. And I see a bunch of dead hive beetles right here in the corner. That is a good sign. The only good hive beetle is a dead hive beetle. Let's see what it is that we can see in here. Okay, this looks beautiful. I would love to find some new eggs. That would be good. Okay, that is a full frame of cat honey, and that is what we sent them here with. That side is cat honey and sugar syrup. Okay, the bottom frames look full as well. I'm looking down through here. They look good. I think these bees are very, very happy in this bee yard. Okay, we have brood, and we also have nectar. Now, the goal today is of course not to get stung. I do not want to get stung while doing this inspection today. Okay, that looks good. Fantastic. Oh, and I've got some, okay, I've got empty teacups on the back here. They're not full. We're gonna go ahead and whack them. There's nothing in them. I don't like them. Not a fan of the teacup. Hello, no need to get excited. Just your friendly neighborhood beekeeper. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, that is a beautiful frame. On both sides, I just had a giant bug land on my head. I think it's one of those sniper flies. I don't know, let's see if we can chase it off. Yep, there it goes. If there's a girl here, it's got some bright yellow pollen. There's our queen right there, look at that. There she is. Gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and Put her back in here. I want to look through a couple more frames. I really want to see if that queen's been laying down at the bottom. Now, I did give her drawn out frames, so she has no reason to not lay down there. I don't know why she's still up top. 
oh, that's a beautiful, just solid frame of brood on both sides. Gorgeous. Oh, two more teacups, three more teacups, four more teacups. If you're a new beekeeper, look along the bottom of the frame. They look like started queen cells. We call those teacups. And right now they're all empty. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those so that they, uh, they don't put something in them. I do not want a swarm this late in the season. Oh goodness, that's a heavy box. Oh, that's humming down there. So I can tell you this, before I go up to the Coast Guard hive, I'm gonna put my headband on. I'm sweating all over the place, this is terrible. Oh, hive beetle. Well, that one got away. I hate hive beetles. I'm pretty sure they don't like me either. Right, oh, we do have girls all over these frames. That's a good sign. Okay, they're just now drawing that one out. Boy, they're getting loud. Okay, they're drawing this side out. Really gonna be interested to see how the Coast Guard hive is dealing. There we go. They've got brood down here. How the Coast Guard, oh, and they've got open larvae down there. Very, very nice. I really wanna see how the, uh, how the Coast Guard hive is dealing with that bottom super. There you go. Here we go. Beautiful. Brick, you're good to go. Let's go to uh, Coast Guard after I put a uh, headband on. All right, so before we go any further, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about Bee Castle. Now, you may have noticed that I keep getting into these hives and they say Bee Castle across the front of them, and these are Bee Castle hives and we are in the Bee Castle Bee Yard. And there's a reason for that. I like these hives so much, Bee Castle reached out to me and decided to sponsor me for, a, for this season. And I tell you what, I couldn't be more pleased with their hives thus far. They've all done a fantastic job in the bee yard. Now, if you're a new beekeeper, or you're thinking about getting into beekeeping, or you're an experienced beekeeper with 30, 40 hives already, and you'd like to add some more hives to your apiary, Bee Castle can make that happen for you. They can do it at a reasonable price. The quality in these hives is unlike any of the other hives that I've gotten. I've purchased hives from just about every manufacturer out there, but Bee Castle hives have nice, tight dovetail joints. They go together smooth, go together square. I've never had any problems with them. They're highly waxed. If you choose the waxed version, you can get unwaxed ones and paint them if that's what you'd like. And you can get the ones that have the, have the Bee Castle logo on the front, or maybe not. Maybe you don't want the Bee Castle logo. That's okay. Bee Castle can take care of you. Now they sell their hives in multiples of one, two, five, ten, whatever you want, they can take care of you. And they also sell a lot of other beekeeping supplies as well. So if you have time, you can scan the QR codes on the screen and that will take you to either Bee Castle's Amazon site or the Bee Castle website where you can shop their wares and have a look at the, the quality of their merchandise. You can go to www.beecastleltd.com. That's beecastleltd.com. That is beecastleltd.com. Now let's get back into the Coast Guard hive and see what's happening in here. Okay, the front entrance on this hive is very, very busy. That's a good sign. Let's hope that they have finished their sugar syrup. I'm certain that they have. The other hive did, they certainly did. All right, here we go. Oh no, they have a little bit left in there. About a third of a gallon, it's not bad. Now I really wanna see what's going on in the bottom box here. That's, that's the box that I'm, I'm really concerned with. We also want to find the queen. Remember, this is a, uh, a queen hunt box here. Here we go. Hello. Make sure we don't see her walking around on the top there. Okay, I don't see her there. Okay, we also want to keep our eyes peeled for hive beetles while we're in here. All right, ladies. Let's have a gander. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a hive beetle right there. The big goner. Oh, there's another one right there. Another one right there. They're all coming up right here. Okay, let's give them the old smasheroni right there. Oh, we have quite a few hot beetles in here. Oh, 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 no. Oh, there must be a hundred of them. Oh, oh, keep coming up, girls. Come on up, hive beetles. Come on up. Okay, that was the jail. And I must have wiped out. Oh, there's one right over here hiding. Oh, gotcha. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, that one ran back down inside. No, it didn't. It's right here on the outside. Now I got gotcha. you. Okay. So we must have wiped out about 
50 hive beetles right there. They had them all corralled in this corner. We, we, we made quick work of them. That's good. Oh, there's another one. Oh, oh, another one right there. Oh, another one right there. Oh, more. Oh, oh, there's a lot of hive beetles in this hive. Not good at all. Just gotta keep smashing them as they come up. Okay, now let's try to take this frame out. That was crazy. That was crazy. Oh, there's a gazillion of them on here. Holy moly. Holy moly. Not good. Not good at all. Not good at all. Let's go over here, away from the hive. Holy moly. Okay, so I just found about 500 hive beetles. They were all on this frame. I'm hoping that this frame was the jail. If the entire hive is infested like this, this is not going to be good. I mean, there were a ton, a ton of hive beetles there. I did manage to kill about 80% of them. Some of them took flight and got away, but for the most part, I got a lot of them. And I don't see any on this frame, so that must have been the jail. Okay, let's look for that queen. This hive is buzzing now though, let me tell you. Queen is not there. I don't think she would have been this close to the jail. Good news is, is I don't see any hive beetles on this frame and this was the very next frame over. I have angered a lot of bees though. I smashed up a little bit of their comb. Now remember the Coast Guard hive had a bunch of hive beetles in it that I found before I brought them over here. It looks like uh, there were more in there than I thought. Okay, there's some brood. Now we just have to find our queen. Now if you see her on there, shout her out. I'm going to try to hold this up so the camera can see it. That way if I don't find her, maybe you will then you can tell me in the video and I'll be able to come back here knowing what she looks like. Oh, there she is right there. Son of a gun. Okay, I did find her. Hold on a minute. Okay, there she is. Oh, oh, she's walking back over to the bottom. Oh, she's walking back over to this side. And let's get her up on the comb. There we go, we got her. Now we're gonna paint her. Now she's painted, you put her in a cage to dry. Set her right there. Actually, I'm going to set her down to the bottom there. All right, let her sit down there while I go through the rest of this, this hive really quick. I want to check for more hive beetles. That was no good. That was no good at all. Actually, let's let her sit out here in the sun. That way you can see her, I can see her, we know she's there. Okay, full frame of brood. Excellent, on both sides. A teacup, which we're going to eliminate. I think that's the most hive beetles I've ever seen come out of one hive. Okay, a lot of nectar there. A lot of nectar there. That is good. Okay. Okay, we have a lot of bees going in here to see the queen. So I guess I will let her out and move on down to the bottom. You know what? I'm going to let her go down in the bottom. We don't need to see any more up here. This hive is doing well. We have a lot of angry bees on me right now, though, I tell you that. All right. Here you go. I'm gonna let your queen go down to the bottom. There we go. Okay, there's a lot of activity down here, a lot more than I expected. Oh, there's a lot of hive beetles. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Must be a thousand of them pouring out of there. Holy moly. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, even if this was just as bad, taking this frame out. Yikes. Okay, I think we're going to have another frame that we're just going to have to take out of here really quick. Get them out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I've never seen this many hive beetles. Holy moly. Okay, girls. Bees, you're out. Hive beetles are coming with me. Oh my gosh, this is the worst. And you probably didn't see any of that. Oh man. Okay. Okay, so chances are pretty high that you didn't see any of that. They, I mean, there must have been 5,000 hive beetles jump out of this side of the hive. It was bad. Let's, uh, let's look at this frame. That is not good. A lot of them ran right back down inside. There's a gazillion of them in there. Holy moly. I have never seen this many hive beetles in one hive. Thank goodness this hive is strong. I want to see if I see any more. I need to get that queen out of the sun too. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's a bunch more. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh, over here. Oh my gosh. This is the nightmare scenario. That is a lot of hive beetles. I mean, I've gotten rid of quite a few. Okay, these girls are going up in here. The queen's going back down in here. She's not going. Okay, the queen's back down inside of her hive. I was going to put her down to the bottom, but... Man, I don't know if I even want to leave this bottom on here. I mean, they're, they're, they're crawling around in these frames on the outside. Okay, I've got an angry beehive here. Primarily because I was shaking bees out of it back there, but they're not happy at all. This is not good. I've never seen this many hive beetles without the hive being slimed out. Okay, there's one or two on there. That's not worth me destroying a bunch of bees for. Oh, but there must be 500 of them still in the bottom. Ah, oh, this is the worst. Oh, got to take this frame. Oh, my God. So I'm starting to worry that uh, hive number 13 has been taken over by hive beetles. Let's, uh, let's wrap this one up really quick and, uh, and go visit 13. Oh, girls, I'm sorry for the highly intrusive inspection. Holy moly. Hive beetle right there. Another one right there. Here you go, ladies. Let's go check hive number uh, number thirteen. All right. Well, that was disappointing. That makes me uh, that makes me sad. Let's uh, let's hope that there's something going on in thirteen. Ah. Uh. I think lucky number 13 is a goner. We were queen right for a week. Yep. This hive has been robbed out. All right. Hive number 13 is a goner. This hive was strong as, you know what, three weeks ago. And it's freshly gone because there are no wax moths or anything like that living in here. I guess what I can do is take the frames home, freeze them. Actually, I'll take the hive home and uh, I'll see what my next move is. I guess I'll move uh, Navy into here and bring it back. Son of a gun. Okay. Okay, this turned into a different adventure than I thought it was going to be, but I'm going to go ahead and take this hive back and uh, the Navy hive is going to move into it. All right, well, there you go, the end of another adventure. Now, this is not the adventure that I was looking forward to. I had visions of coming out here and checking the Coast Guard and Space Force and finding that all was right with the world, painting the Coast Guard queen, and then and then leaving, basking in the glory of having a complete queen right bee yard with all hives strong and producing and ready 
for the fall flow, but that is not what I found. I instead found that I am back to being the beetle farmer. I tell you what, I have never seen more hive beetles in any one hive than I've seen in the Coast Guard hive. And for that hive to still be going strong, it really surprises the heck out of me. I really wasn't expecting that. Now I'm kind of disappointed. And then I decided to check hive 13 and hive 13. Well, they've, they've flown away. They've absconded. There's no dead bees in the bottom, but there's an awful lot of uh, cappings, a few ants running around and a few hive beetles, but it looks like they were, uh, they were robbed out or they decided to leave. I don't know why, but, but they're gone. And now I've got to bring yet another hive over here to the bee castle bee yard, which is not a problem because I have an extra hive in the Navy hive anyways. Uh, Army and Marines are moving to the front row. I needed something to do with Navy. I was going to give it to the wife. Well, now it's going to come over here and all will still be right with the world. So I'm still thinking positively. I'm just not as happy as I could be right now. Anyways, with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I do try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun. So with all that said, be happy, and I will see you next week. Take care.